Andre Fee lights up the stage and screen in the new show Smash as a starry-eyed hopeful fighting to realize her big Broadway dreams. Take a look. You want me to sing? Oh my God, is there a problem here? What, am I not speaking English? Just stand up and sing Happy Birthday as Marilyn. I've seen you do it. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Mr. President. Happy birthday to you. Please welcome Catherine McPhee. to the show and we have to say we love Smash. It's been getting yeah. great reviews. We watch it. I watch it. I it, love the show. We do. Find out it's a television this show. Is, yeah. This is a television show. We're not talking about a Broadway no. show. Right. right. Yeah, it's, it's, it's so amazing. But, you know, we, we saw you on American Idol mm -hmm. and we knew you could sing as we saw here, but what people may not have known is before American Idol, you were running around town for years trying to make it as an actress. Right. So I want to say a lot of times something, you know, things open the door for other things. Absolutely. So do you think that you would have gotten this part had it not been for American Idol, or they took more notice of you? You know, I mean, who uh, who can really predict, like, whether or not I would have had the same opportunities had it not been for Idol? Um, all I know is that, it, you know, it gave me amazing exposure mm -hmm. and amazing opportunities. It wasn't, you know, a straight shoot up out of the gate. You know, I had definitely some valleys yeah, and mountains to climb, yeah. and, um, you know, in, in this business, you're always kind of... You know, going you know, like that's this. But that's the good thing. Because that's it, the great thing. That's the, the yeah, joy of, that's right. of the business is like the, the highs are so much sweeter when you've gone through right. an amazing but, roller coaster. But you coaster. did go, I mean, after American Idol, you, it wasn't all that easy because people judged you so much from that and forgot that you're an actress. So was, was there a time when you said, I'm going to chuck it all? Um, I think that's probably where I'm most like the character that I play in the show, that uh, although I had a lot of discouraging moments, a lot of parts that I didn't get, or, you know, uh, there's a, there was a lot of things, but I, I would feel really hopeless at times, but there was never a doubt in my mind that I, there was nothing else I could do. I mean, I can barely wait tables when I waited tables. I was so bad <laughs> at That's it. That's a special talent. It yeah. is. Like, I was, you know, I would get so overwhelmed when the orders would come through, you know, uh, so um, <laughs> I, I just felt like there's nothing else I, I can do. So, um, I, I, somebody told me your mother is a, is a coach yeah. on American Idol, she but is. she was not there before you, was she? No, she wasn't. She came after. She, she, got, uh, she got a job a couple years after I came off Idol. So. Uh -huh. wow. That's interesting. Yeah. That's great. Well, it's a family she, affair. She yeah. is what she's doing. Um, you know, uh, there is some talk that with the show being such a success, that the musical that's being created within the show would actually become a real musical on we, the Broadway stage. So would, and if that happens, which would be fun. Would you want the starring role there? I mean, I, Megan and I would have to, Megan Hilty, who plays yeah, my co-star, we'd have that. to fight up for it. Uh, <laughs> it'd be life imitating art. Um, I, I would definitely love to do Broadway one day. I don't know, you know, that would be years down the road. I and mean, the producers have said specifically, there'd be no way for us to, it's not like a, you know, a reality show and that you can go in the summer and right. do a concert. It, it doesn't work that quickly with a musical. Um, but I would love to do Broadway one day. I don't know if it would be this show in particular. Well, Steven Spielberg's one of the executive producers of the new show. Yes. And he handpicked you. For this role, he I mean, did. what was that like meeting him for the first time? How did he know even about that? Well, you know, this is what I such a big fan. This is what I think is so amazing about Steven Spielberg is that he really doesn't judge talent, and he doesn't care where you come from. He doesn't care if you come from a reality show or you come from this or that. He just see he sees something, and he doesn't care. He believives did in he it. Did he see you and all? Um, and he remembered. Is I that took a meeting right after I came off Idol, and uh, he had this story, this show in mm -hmm. mind five, six years ago, oh, wow. and, uh, and it took them this long to develop it. But I had my eye on this project for several years because it was at, uh, in works at Showtime, a different network, oh, yeah. and uh, eventually moved to the, the network that I'm on. But um, yeah, we took a meeting, and, and now it's so crazy. He's come to set, and I've seen him. I saw him at the Golden Globes, and I'm like, oh, hey, Steven. You know? <laughs> hey, Stevie. Hey, Stevie. Um, 
It's so, really amazing to have him involved, and he really is involved with the show. Now, how are you? You and your husband, Nick, you guys just moved out here six months ago. Yeah. And I know when I came out here, <laughs> never having been in New York, it was rough. It, is there a different, you know, how are you getting along so far in New York? Oh, well, we're getting along fine. Um, it, it definitely... Are you it hot? What? I know, I saw yeah. the hot topics yeah, earlier. to keep it spicy. We're keeping it spicy. We're, 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 how we're um... Married? Oh, four years now. Oh. Grace, congratulations. Oh, but yeah. you were together a long time before that, right? We were together like two years. We've been together seven years, oh, okay. so yeah. she's getting there. Yeah. I'm getting there. When you were on with us before, we were talking earlier on Hot Topics about body image right. and liking. And you had some struggles with your yeah. body image. Oh, I still struggle with... I was, I'm wondering, with all the pressure now, doing a new show and the singing and the dancing, um, when you talk about struggling... You, you know, I just, I don't, I struggle in terms of like, you know, it's the same thing like you said earlier, you look in the mirror and you're like, you know, yeah. I don't know what everyone, you know, thinks is so great when they're <laughs> like, oh, you look great in that. Um, I, there's no pressure coming from anybody other than myself. Yeah, it's I mean, all really, internal, it's all really, internal. isn't it? Yeah, but I don't, I really have an amazing relationship with food. It's more of like, I just wish I had more time with the schedule, this crazy schedule of the show, to work out at the gym. You know, you wish things were a little bit tighter here and there mm -hmm. in certain places. Everywhere. Uh, everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> with but, all the dancing you do on the show, that's not enough? Well, I, it, it comes in spurts. Like, I'll have a dance number in one episode, and that will keep me really in yeah. shape. But then, like, two episodes after that, I won't no have thing. one. Um, I actually have them all covered up. I, you can't see it, but I have major bruises all over my oh, legs. Oh, no. Um, it's a danger job. Uh, yeah. We just want to say congratulations on the success of the show. Thank you so we much. just we wish you well and we want to thank Catherine McPhee. Smash airs Monday nights and we'll be right back with Dr. Drew.